Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel, and also welcome to Team of the Season FIFA 19. It is here. The cards are in the packs, the SBCs are out, the weekly objectives are out, and also in packs, we'll talk about that. And the promotion is underway, and it's off to a great start, I think. Um, with the exception of kind of the mess ups with the EA tweets, and you know what's been going on with the weekly objective cards, um, and along with that stuff, um, the SBCs are decent. The Odegaard SBC is nice, and these cards are in packs, and they're, you know, it's always a surprise, this first kind of set of Team of the Season cards. Um, we have EFL and obviously the most consistent voted upon community tots um, in packs right now, but it's always a shock, and we saw this today, it's always a shock. I remember this every year with Team of the Season. When the cards come onto the market, Everybody is just kind of shocked at the prices of them because if you know a lot of these cards at, at a point earlier in the year You know this Oscar card if, if this card came out during uh, December or January that card would be a lot more than 85k We saw that with Hulk being in team of the week one a card not nearly as good as this going for like 250,000 coins as an inform in an early team of the week so I think a lot of people, um, this really sets the market up for another downturn going into Premier League tots because of just how these cards prices are. I mean, you had a 93 rated Alderwild today, first day in packs. This is his first day in packs. He's going to continue to go lower than this as he continues to get packed throughout the next week as he's in packs. He started out at 216k today. That's exactly where this card was just two days ago. He was up here at 200,000 coins on Xbox just a week ago, to be a better time frame. A week ago, this card was at the same price as where this 93 is, and look at the stat boost that he gets. He gets a plus three overall, and in every stat category, he's at least getting a plus three, and that's what happened with a lot of these cards today. A lot of these cards got massive, massive boost. People are pumped to try them out including myself. There's a lot of sweet cards in the game. I'm not making this about pack pulls as well, but I want to kind of show you guys, as you see in the bottom below me, there is a team of the season counter, thanks to Daily Render, of course, for the counter um, logo. We packed our first team of the season card earlier tonight. I posted a picture on Twitter. I got Ter Stegen out of a 15k pack from the Bundesliga SBC. Um, you know, the pack weight for these cards right now seems to be very high compared to what I think the rest of the team of the seasons will be. So kind of take advantage of that. The EA is kind of drawing you in to the League SBC grind, to opening packs and stuff like that, because they kind of have the pack weight pretty high for a lot of these cards. And uh, so take advantage of that. Honestly, if you want to go do some League SBCs, take the risk. I'd spend about 150 k putting together 10 League SBC packs and... Um, as you see right now, for the 100,000 coin packs, the chance of you packing a TOTS player is 21%, which is ridiculous. Now, I know a lot of that percentage has to do with the EFL TOTS that, that are in packs. A lot of these cards are basically discard, and they're lower rated, and they're silvers, and you know they have a lower, or a higher pack probability just because their base cards are lower. But still, when people saw these numbers today, 21% out of the 100K packs, which is actually a lot higher than it was today, 2.7% out of a 25K pack is honestly ridiculous compared to what we've seen. Um, but I do want to kind of speak about that. I really feel like EA is just drawing us in with all of these cards being on the market and being this cheap and being this packable. Obviously, not all of them are very packable, like this Ebra card. I mean, you see a decent amount of this card up. Right now, it's dead night market time on the Xbox, and you see a lot of these cards listed up um, for a 95-rated Team of the Season card. That's why Team of the Season changes this market so much, because these cards come onto the market. They have some of the best stats that we've seen in the entire game, and they're cheap. That's the biggest point to all of this. I mean, even the 90 rated Sule card, if you look at a guy like Hummels, so we'll compare this to, actually let's do a little compare. We'll compare this to the Hummels team of the group stage card. I haven't done this yet, so I don't know what's gonna, what I'm gonna see. But I wanna compare the stats to this. Hummels has less pace, the same defending face stat, and 10 less physical. He does have some better passing and better dribbling, but he does have the less pace. So total stats, 
Actually, Hummels is a big time winner because of his uh, passing and dribbling. But if we look in the defending stats and the pace, um, I don't see the work rates. Do we see work rates here? Medium, medium, and he is medium high. So the work rates on Hummels are better. But you see Hummels is 105,000 coins right now in the panic. And if we go down here to the defensive stats, Sule has him beat in almost every area or they're tied, but Sule has him big time beat in the physical. 99 strength, 88 aggression. But again, this Nicolas Sule card, oops, clicked on the wrong one there. Let's go back to Hummels. Hummels is 105,000 coins right now. And he was 178k a week ago today. He was 178k. This card is, you could say better in a defensive stat category. It's 125k. It's first day in packs. And where did it start out when it came into packs? 150. You know, so that's the kind of thing that really changes up this market with team of the season. Just the, the value of cards on the game changes because these more cards come out with these incredible stats. And it honestly just changes the way that people see cards on the game. John Stones being a 170,000 coins for a Premier League center back. Uh, before this, you just had Davidson Sanchez. You had a David Luiz flashback card. You had VVD. Those were kind of your top three players for a center back. In the BPL, you had a Kyle Walker card as well. But 170K for this card, even less than that. I mean, you're looking at a card that before during the middle of the year, this might have been like 250 earlier in the year. You know, just a month ago, this card could have been 250,000 coins as an inform in the game um, or even higher than that price uh, just because of how things were valued. And that's why team this season is so interesting and it causes a lot of market movements because it just the valuations of these cards really change the market and how uh, the market really perceives these cards value. Um, that's the most fun and intriguing thing about TOTS, I think, as well. You get cards like this, and Dom Bailey, team of the season most consistent, 90 pace. Um, and he's got some really sick stats all around. If you have a League One team, I mean, this guy looks really good for your League One team. So, you know, a lot of cool cards that come out today. Yes, it's only team of the season most consistent, um, but it also caused a lot of people to open their packs today because when you go in the store, and you see that there's a 20% drop rate on 100k packs. If you have a 100k pack saved, you have a 1 in 4 chance of packing a TOTS card. Why wouldn't you open your packs? And I think a lot of people did that today, which put a lot of coins onto the market, which made the ability for flipping very, very good. Now, I want to talk about a few of these flips that you see on here right now at the moment. Um, I got this Pogba at 9.43 today in the panic before 6 p.m. UK. Sold it at 1077. That was a very nice uh, profit right there. Human Son, I bought for 383, sold for 457. I bought this Sanetti at 910. That wasn't too much of a profit. Fernandinho's, I bought at 82, sold them all for 90. Gabriel Jesus, I bought at 255. Walker, this is actually a snipe, and his price is going down because of that Stones card. Um, but I bought that at 26,000 coins. I have a picture of proof on my Twitter. You go check it there. The link is in the description to my Twitter. Check that out if you haven't already. Uh, but I, I got this Walker card for literally discard price. Um, that was a nice snipe I had there. Martial I got for 155. And then I bought this Lala. He is in Team of the Week right now. And I actually want to check out his price. We will check out his price over here on the good old foot bin. He is 103 right now. So what I did today... We'll check this out on the hourlies. During the lightning rounds, he dipped down here at the first lightning round. He was actually under 90,000 coins, and I bought like seven or eight of them for under 90K, and I was able to sell them off for like 117, uh, one for 110 right there, but most of them were around 110 to 117, 102 on that last one is right there as well. But I got a lot of this card. I still have a couple more. Um, just because I saw that this card was 130, it dropped to 90k just like that, and I knew that would not be a sustainable price for him. And then this is Jesse Lingard was one I bought before the um, packs came out for like 105 to 107, sold for 117 to 120. That was just a solid flip. Uh, a lot of this stuff just happened because stuff was low. People were selling before the 6 p.m. UK uh, drop of team of the season, and then people went and they bought teams today. That was the biggest thing that I really saw today. If you go back, I'm flipping and just scroll through team of the weeks. A lot of people bought teams today 
just because they wanted to buy, it almost seemed like. And you really have to be careful with that because a lot of this stuff I do think is gonna fall even harder coming out of this weekend. Um, as we see more TOTS content, we might even get a repeatable SBC. Wow, Messi is 1.7. This card was 1.55. We'll look at it on the graph. Wow, he's 1.9 on PS. Are you kidding me? This card was 1.5, 1.6. Look at this, he was, he was 1.55. And look where he goes after the packs are open today. He was 1.9 at one point on, on Xbox. Now chilling at 1.7. There's a lot of that today, a lot of buyback, a lot of cards that rose. That were out of packs like these special cards that just really rose a ton because um people went out and bought teams and we expected that because of the packs coming onto the market you know the good old past when foot economist was streaming he would always say pack openings in isolation cause the market to rise that is still a very true and accurate saying nothing has changed when people open packs especially when you have saved packs that are open people get coins they generate coins and they go out and they buy players and they buy teams, especially when it's weekend league time. So this is basically just another general market talk, market watch video. I wanna look at a few more things on the market that we saw today. I know I haven't mentioned the EA mess up yet, but we'll talk about that at the end just for a jiffy. High rated golds, um, wait on those until today. When you see lightning rounds today, a lot of these have dropped down a little bit more, but I think you could see some more lightning rounds today. Take control of these cards. I saw them for 14K during lightning rounds, the 86s. I saw 87s under 20K. Um, and since they're, they've popped back up, that really shows me that people A, invested in them, did a club stock, or went and did SBCs because a lot of these cards are low, but so are some of these active challenges in the store. A lot of people probably went and did icon SBCs today with the cheap high rated gold this frank ribery sbc actually at one point today was like 500k i mean you see it right now yeah it was 500 lows today when the packs were being opened so that's pretty crazy um, with the amount of hype you saw there and even the vela sbc was like 60k at one point as well today so that was pretty nuts um you just got a lot of stuff going on in terms of the market today and that's why there were a lot of market movements on the market today. So if you guys still have any tradable guys in your team, high rated cards that maybe even went up, get them out today. I'm serious, get them out because everything is gonna come down crashing lower and lower after this weekend. Even though people bought teams, people are gonna see these TOTS cards, they're gonna go into one to go try them out. If we get a team of the week SBC or a guaranteed TOTS SBC, um, that is one thing to think about as well. We could see that. Um, because there's so many discard team of the season cards on the market right now with a lot of these um, these EFL guys. I mean, it just makes it seem like to me we are going to get, interesting, um, we are going to get a, um, I don't even know what this guy's name is, Bowen, we'll go with Bowen. We are gonna get a requirement for team of the season cards. I do think we will see a requirement for team of the season cards in SBCs later on in the promotion, especially because of all of these cards that they put in today with the EFL. This is what happened last year. These cards like went to discard and people went ham on investing in them. Um, I don't, a lot of them aren't actually discard just yet. I would wait until they get to that point or get really close. Um, and I would, I would stay away from the 80 rateds, but there's, just a ton of opportunities to get these cards. Um, I would just get one, throw it in your club when they do hit discard because um, I don't know about the investment. I know that was something that a lot of people were looking at heading into this promo was looking at investing in these cards. Um, even in here, the weekly objectives, you get some TOTS cards like the Taylor, the Onana, and the Rodri. Um, but now they're actually, I believe they're in packs as well because EA wrongfully tweeted it out before Yes, they, Onana is in packs, I do believe. Um, but you might as well go get the untradeable version as well because uh, a lot of these cards are going to be useful later on down the line when you need to do a Team of the Season SBC that requires a TOTS card. So watch the prices of these cards. They're gonna get even lower and lower. I mean, an 88 rated card for 38K, if we go look at the cheapest players by rating on the market, how much are 88s? Like 30 something K? 88 rateds are 30, 233, 34K. If we go over here and look at Footbin, Buffon's 31. So, I mean, if you see this Onana card get down to like 
26 or 7k for an 80 rated 88 rated card that's a good investment as a, a discard team this season because of his rating but for the lower rated guys i don't think it's worth going ham on because there's just so many of them on the market it's going to take a lot of spcs to require tots cards to make those cards rise up in price um and there's going to be a lot of opportunities throughout the next couple weeks for people to get them those tots cards untradeable as well so that's what i'm a little bit weary of i want you guys to be careful with if you are investing in some of that stuff but again on the market again today we're going to see more lightning rounds more packs are going to be opened look at stocking your your clubs with the high rated golds and again selling any of your high rated items that you have still in your club that are tradable um, because i think those are going to go down into premier league tots and this next week we have a lot to talk about with what content comes out but also team building so again start to think about what cards you want to get in your team make a concept squad start to look at you know what kind of cards you want in your team whether it's team of the knockout stage cards whether it's team of the year cards whether it's tots cards you know start making those plans and getting familiar with prices because even a lot of these cards rose up today people bought end game teams now that's pretty low for an all five five start that's pretty low but a lot of these cards went up today ramos wow 2.1 i saw this veron card go from 1 million coins flat he's now 115 i saw him sell there a couple times as well it's just crazy that a lot of these cards have gone up and people bought teams today we are nowhere near the cheapest cheapest point of team this season just yet so i know there's a lot of questions going around right now drop them down below if you do have questions this market is still prime for flipping i mean you look at team of the knockout stage cards you can look at those rare cards that people are still buying to put into their teams right now on the weekend because they have more coins um, rare cards like that are going to be very flippable get on the bids get on the bids and of course you can make coins um, you know with the rare usual flipping and daily fluctuations of cards as weekend league is something that a lot of people are going to be playing this weekend because you get to um, you get to have packs for team of the season um, as well as the new man of the matches that are out seeing this Aubameyang just reminded me there's another Aubameyang out um, so there's more man of the matches to flip as well you know that I love those man of the match cards if you enjoyed this video smash thumbs up on it and then comment down below if you do have any questions good luck if you're opening packs let me know if you pack stuff tag me on twitter and all sorts of that good stuff so good luck there also subscribe to the channel if you're new thank you guys for 2,000 subscribers it's a big accomplishment and i couldn't do it obviously without you guys it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out